So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a rug frame. I have previous videos on how to do it, but this one is even cheaper than the other one. So with this one, I'm gonna be using a two by three instead. And this is an eight foot long two by three. And this only cost me like 396. So for the first frame that I'm gonna be making, I had two of these that I purchased. So that's only like eight bucks. And then I have this carpet tack. It's right here that you could get at Home Depot as well. And this carpet tack only costs around, I think $4 as well. So that's about 12 bucks for a frame. And so at Home Depot, you can get your wood cut. Um, I didn't want to wait in line to get my wood cut. So I'm going to be doing it myself. And I'll show you that in the next video. I'll make sure to put all the dimensions in the description, but you'll need to have two 43 inch pieces of wood and two 40 inch pieces of wood in order to make the frame that I'm making right now. So now you can see I have two 40 inch and two 43 inch. Feel free to screenshot that. Now this is what your frame should look like. I recommend when you're drilling your screws into your wood on the sides, you wanna do a drill bit first. That way it makes it a lot easier for the screws to go in and it's not crooked. So pre-drill with a drill bit, that'll make it a lot easier. But basically how I'm doing it is the 43 and the 43 on the top and bottom and the 40 inch and the 40 inch on both of the sides. As you can see, I'm just leaning this piece of wood against something. I'm gonna do my two pre-drills. I'm just using regular wood screws for this too. What I do is I put these two screws into here, kind of like that. And then I align them with the pre-drilled holes that I put into this wood here. That way it's just a little bit easier. Another thing is you don't necessarily need a drill bit and to do a pre-drill, but it will make it a little bit easier. But if you're short on money, you don't necessarily need one. So this right here is what your rug frame should look like. Just a perfect square. You can add these L brackets that they sell at Home Depot. I'll make sure to link them in the description as well, but the L brackets basically go right here and you drill them. And they do come in handy because they make your rug frame a lot sturdier. Here comes a fun part. Now that you have your frame done, you put your carpet tack. And when you're putting your carpet tack, you'll notice that these um, little tiny nails that are gonna grip onto your fabric are pointing a certain direction. So you wanna make sure that these nails are pointing outward because if not, your rug, your rug fabric is just gonna slide off. So as you can see, I'm pointing it outward like that. That way the fabric grips on it properly. And also these also have these little nails already installed. So all I have to do now is hammer them in and then I get a little blade and cut this off and it just snaps right off. All right, your rug frame is now finished. It could stay like this or you could add a stand, which I'm gonna do right now. And this is called a workhorse, I believe. And you could get them at Home Depot or Lowe's or any other place like that. But, um, oh, sawhorse, it's called sawhorse. But basically this makes it the perfect height for me. And I like to stand when I'm making my rugs instead of like sitting on the ground. So what I'm gonna do is on my previous model, I drilled um, screws into it and I just stood the frame up. 
But this time around, what I'm gonna do is add some screws that I could unbolt if I wanted to, because sometimes my sister will use this and she'll put it on the ground because she likes it on the ground more. So I'm gonna put screws into it that I could unbolt and take it off if I want to. So I got two of these bolts and um, it comes with this little nut as well separately, but it's 16 cents for the nut. And then for the bolt, it's 69 cents. And then I'm using one of these guys to pre-drill a hole and then I'll be able to stick this bolt in on each side. You could have just used a drill bit for this, but this is a 3 8 uh, what's it called, screw. And I also did, before I completely drilled through, I made it a little bit bigger, that way this part could fit into it, and then the rest of it fits to the exact size. So I used a 3 8 drill bit on the other half of this, and then I drilled completely into this wood on the bottom. Like I said, this is like the first time I've done this method. Usually I'll just screw these in, but since I want to be able to take off my frame, if needed, it'll make it a lot easier. And there's your finished rug frame. Let me show you the screws like that. That way I could take my frame off if I wanted to. Another thing I highly recommend is to get those L brackets that I'm gonna put in the description. I'm personally gonna go and buy some. Here are those brackets that I was talking about in the background, and here are the screws that I ended up using. They're short little screws, and here you could see how I did it. I hope you liked this video, and feel free to go to my website, imakerugs.com, to check out any stuff for rug supplies that you need, such as fabric and rug guns. And that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.